Hello everyone, how are you? Uh, the day before yesterday, Professor Mangel uh, for a statistics class taught us about central limit theorem. So what is central limit theorem? Central limit theorem, according to the central limit theorem, no matter whatever be the population distribution, if we take a like a sample mean distribution, it always follows normal distribution. So I was very eager to verify that and uh, I wrote some uh, script to verify it and I successfully verified it. Uh, so I want to show uh, these things I script and the programming to you. So basically I'm going to use R, uh, R Studio and I have also posted the link to download R and R Studio as well as the script itself. So let me begin. So click R Studio. So after that, uh, we have to open. Uh, sorry, uh, we have to open new script. And I have already copied the code, so I'm going to paste it. So this is the code from which we can verify. So here I'm going to define what will be the population size here I set it to the 50,000 50,000 population size and the sample size the size of each sample I set it here 100 and repeated samples means how many samples we take uh, here I uh, set it 1000 so that means we take 1000 samples ha having size 100 and we wanna we, we gonna test whether it follows a normal distribution or not. For the for setting uh, population distribution, I uh, using uniform distribution between zero and one here, and uh, here is the code for repeating the sample. So here I'm uh, I'm gonna repeat thousand times the sample sample and uh, I'm taking a random sample here uh, that will be of size 100 and um, I'm measuring a uh, mean as well as variance and I stored in uh, some object and uh, in this way I created sample X object where I store all the uh, samples mean and variance variance yeah so here with this uh, four graph I'm gonna show so you something the first graph will be uh, the density uh, graph of population distribution the second graph will be histogram of population distribution and the third graph will be a density graph of sample mean distribution and fourth graph will be of sample mean uh, histogram so uh, this we this script will create four diagram or four graphs so at last I I also created the respective X bar and frequencies in this object uh, it will appear here after running this code as well as the graph now and at last, uh, I will erase. I will delete any unused uh, objects. So let me run. As you know, uh, you have to select all to run this code. So click run here. So here, here is the distribution sample mean table, which is appeared here. You can easily see that uh, it's uh, much concentrated. In between around uh, 9 uh, 0.49 yeah 0.49 or 0.5 it's considered around here and as you can see here in the diagram here let me make it large here here is the first graph which shows the density graph of population distribution here the histogram of population distribution and this from this population distribution I took some uh, samples 
and measure the mean here the mean follows the sample normal distribution and here I plot the uh, histogram so it can be easily seen that it follows the normal distribution so every time I run like I'm running the second time yeah every time I run only the little change will be there otherwise it will always follow the same same sample it, even if I change the like uh, population uh, uh, sorry uh, sample size like I said here 50 for the simplicity and I said here 2000 times I'm going to take the sample from this population of 50,000 so or let me change the population size also like 60,000 so I'm going to run this it will take some time here we go here we again found the normal distribution pattern see here the population distribution as previous is uh, uniform but here the distribution of sample mean is like uh, normal distribution again I wanna I would like to run the code run again a little bit changed but almost the same normal distribution so in this way we can proudly say that confidently say that no matter whatever will be the population distribution scatter or normal distribution or skewed or uniform whatever it always follows the uh, uh, their sample mean always follows the normal distribution thanks for watching and oh at last uh, I'm using actually study uh, R studio it's the IDE for uh, our program so our program doesn't have basically these features of uh, menu and this interactive code uh, section a uh, code panel so basically you can do like like copying it and just open R and just paste it here and press enter you will get yeah the graph here there is a graph and also the table here you can find the table here yeah so you can either choose our studio or our program itself to run as usual thanks for watching enjoy econometrics and statistics thank you